What's up guys, I'm back here with another video and today I'm reviewing LEGO set 76008 Iron Man vs the Mandarin Ultimate Showdown. Now this set is 6 to 12 age range, it contains two minifigures, 91 pieces and it released on the 7th of March 2013 and retired on the 31st of December 2014 and it originally retailed for $11.99 in the UK and $12.99 in the US and $12.99 in Europe. Now, I'm really, really happy to get my hands on this set. Of course, I'm on a journey to collecting every single set based on the MCU, um, preferably unopened, and I did get this unopened. This is completely sealed. There is a bit of wear and tear to the box, as you can see. I got this from eBay um, for a fairly good price as well. I think I got it for about £19, which compared to eleven ninety nine is isn't too bad for a, a set that's retired over like near, almost 15 years ago now. This was one of the very first themed Marvel sets. I think they had the Avengers li Assemble line just before Iron Man 3's line. Um, so Iron Man 3 is like the second line of theming Marvel sets. Um, so I'm very, very happy to have this one. Um, as I said, there is a lot, there is a bit of wear and tear on the box, um, but it doesn't bother me too much as I don't think I'm going to be reselling it anytime soon, if at all, as I am obviously trying to collect them all for my, my own collection. Um, this was one of the very, very small sets at the time, um, which were nice at the time because they were very cheap, They're, you know, eleven ninety nine. you know, a parent could get that for a child and keep them satisfied, and you did used to get really good minifigures in them as well. Um, of course, you've got Iron Man here and the Mandarin, which is really awesome. Um, <coughs> excuse me. As for the box art, um, it's pretty pretty basic but what they used to do on these boxes is they used to have the Marvel superheroes logo up here um I always hated that logo I thought it was very oh I just didn't like it and then you've got Iron Man here in Legoized form which um I do like that they still do Legoized form on the sets nowadays and of course you've got the Iron Man 3 logo down there so you know what film it's based on and if I just turn the box around you can see more that there's some playability features and etc um so not too much to say on that but I am going to go ahead and build this and then I'm going to start the review beginning with the minifigures. First up for the minifigures is the Mandarin. And I really, really like this minifigure. I'm really glad I've got this one. Um, it's not too amazing and too detailed, but for its time, it was really, really great. Um, it's got the plain khaki trousers, but that's not too much of an issue for me. He does come with two facial expressions and he does come with this sort of um, the slick back hair, but in black form. And this is also a plastic beard, that um, a beard mold, shall I say, that attaches as well. Um, which isn't attached to the hair, which is nice because you can use it on other things. If I just take off the hair, you can see the other facial expression on the other side, which is a bit of a, just a bit of a gruntled look. He does also have his angry look there. And as well, without the beard, you can just see that there is some detailing on the torso as well. So the front torso has sort of got the bullets and the bullet belt around the bottom there and a bit of the the green sort of camo costume, which he did have in the film. And he's got no... Um, sleeves or anything on the arms. Um, I don't remember if that was part of the film, but nonetheless. Uh, and if I just turn it around, there is a tiny bit of detail on the back as well, not too much. Again, it just fleshes out the costume on the back. And the way the beard goes on is you just pop it on top of the torso like so, and then you put on the face. Which is kind of stiff at the moment to put down. There we go, and it clipped in there. It's a very old set, so it's very stiff at the moment. And then what I do like is that the hair does actually align with the beard. So the hair actually aligns with the beard, and they are two separate pieces, which is really, really nice. Um, overall, a really nice minifigure. And up next, we have Iron Man. And I'm not sure what mark this is. Um, it would have been one of the earlier ones, maybe mark three, I'm not sure. I love, love, love this minifigure. I think the detail is so good, especially for a uh, set that's eleven ninety nine. Like we were really, the Lego were really great to give this in one of the smaller sets. Um, there is detailing all the way from the torso to the legs. You can see here, you've got the the um, arc reactor in the middle there, really shining with the blues, and the, then you've got the gold and the reds and the silvers all mixing together, and it does go all the way down to the legs and even the feet, which I really, really appreciate from Lego. That is really, really awesome they did that. There's no side printing, but I'm not too bothered by that. Like, they did give us so much printing on the front that it's, um, it does feel fleshed out. 
And if I just switch him, turn him around as well, you can see they have continued that printing on the back torso as well, which is so detailed, it's really, really great. Especially for this time, um, one being one of the first themed Marvel sets, it's really cool that they did that. Um, and what I really, really love about this minifigure is, I might be in the minority here, but I loved these Iron Man helmets. The ones that clip on like this, I think they look a lot more accurate to the film. Um, I think they work a lot better. I love these ones. I don't like the big ones now that we have. The ones we have now feel too clunky and too sort of fat, if you will. These ones I love. So this literally just clips on like so. If I just show, it's literally two pieces and it clips on like so. And then you just pop it on the head. And I love that, that, um, that helmet type and if I do just take the helmet off we have Tony Stark's face here which is nice it's nice to get Tony Stark face this is before they were giving sort of the um the blue uh whatever you call it face you know what I mean the the forgotten the name when he's using the machine inside inside the inside the suit anyway nonetheless this has got the Tony Stark face which is really really cool that we have that I we don't get a Tony Stark head with it which is a bit annoying but it's completely fine um, you know, it is a small set at the end of the day and there is a, as well another facial expression So he's got two facial expressions. He's got his angry one and his sort of less disgruntled one. He's just a bit He's a bit smirky one. I guess you can say um, But yeah, I love how that looks when you put the helmet on and then when you open the helmet up and you can see that is definitely that facial expression is definitely Tony Stark like they've used a very very good face for Tony Stark it looks just like him I love it looks great I love this minifigure it also does come with he does come with some um, pieces so you've got these sort of dome pieces that you can put on the legs to make him sort of fly and then you also have just these little translucent blue studs as well which you put on the arms or the hands I should say the minifigure hands and you just turn them upside down and then it looks like he is flying himself as well like so I also do want to mention as well on the helmet it's really awesome that we got the red the gold and the silver I mean that's really really awesome like that is really great detail on that minifigure but I love this minifigure overall and coming to the set itself, uh, it's pretty tiny, but that's expected for one of the small sets. That's what I really liked about these small sets back in the day, is that you would just get a tiny little build. And also it's easy to display because you don't need much space for it. Um, I'm not really sure what it's based on. I don't really actually think it's from anything in the film, if I'm honest. I just think they needed a small set, so they just created this small Mandarin-esque vehicle. Um, which is, I like it. It's just a bit strange and a bit, it's not entirely accurate and when I'm doing this you know um collection of all the sets based on the MCU it is kind of frustrating when there's just a set that isn't really which sometimes they do do especially for the Endgame sets they just did a bunch of sets that weren't really based on anything from the film um Endgame was a different matter though obviously they weren't really allowed to know anything about the film um but yeah I mean I like it I like it it's it's fun I mean it, it work. it's a fully working car it's got the wheels at the bottom it's got four wheels obviously on each side you've got the the red studs here just creating some lights as well um it's got like a gun on the side for the mandarin there as you can see and there is also a sort of a gun thing here i like the way they've used this they've sort of used this i this i've re this really unique piece i've not seen it before and then you put two studs in it to make it look like sort of a gun as well, a blaster as well. Um, there's a lot of green on it as well, which um, it's, it's like a green and gray, which does match the Mandarin's colors. Um, and I do like this contraption at the top as well. Um, so you've sort of got this flame piece and then two blasters. These do work. Um, I don't want to blast them, but everyone knows how they work. So I'm gonna, I am going to try. You basically essentially push it out and it will blast. And yeah, it didn't blast because I was too scared of it flying off. Um, but you basically essentially push them out and it will blast um, as well. Um, you've got the crater pieces here as well, just creating a bit more detail. Again, there isn't that much detail to this set because it is very tiny. I do like that this moves. I mean, I guess that's fun that this moves. So you can move. You can sort of shoot Iron Man from wherever you want to be. I guess he could be flying and you could sort of, you know, shoot him and he's flying around and da da da. Um, etc. Um, and I do like that they've used sort of a wheel piece here. They've used a wheel piece to connect this giant um, 
I don't even know what this piece is called to the other the other section and you do get two of these as well So you get an extra one of these which is really cool. So now I have a spare one as well um, And the Mandarin does fit in as well. The Mandarin fits into the car um, There are four studs in there that he can just fit into um, to sit down and there you go You can sit him down have him driving the uh, the vehicle and You can have Iron Man battling it out with the Mandarin um, Like so so that there you go. That is the set in its entirety, um, there's not really much to say, if I'm honest, about the set. Um, it looks good. Um, is it accurate? No. Um, but it's nice to have a small set. It really, these small sets are for the minifigures. People don't really generally get them for the accuracy of the set or for the set itself. It's generally for the minifigures. Uh, I would say the closest we've even got this time around is the Captain America and Black Widow motorcycles, like that's probably the closest we've got to these sort of small sets because they don't really do these small sets that much anymore and the small sets are a lot more expensive now but I remember that one was around the same price, it was around £12. Um, so that's probably the closest we've got and again that did its job, you know, it gave an exclusive minifigure. I'm not sure if either of these are exclusive, I think the Mandarin definitely is in another set. I'm not sure if this Iron Man is. Um, but I really, really love the minifigures in the set, and I'm glad to have this set just as part of the collection. So let me know what you guys think of this set. Do you have it? Do you own it? Do you want it? Um, and again, this channel is just for me to share my love of LEGO with fellow LEGO lovers, and for you guys to follow my journey of getting every set based on the MCU. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe, etc., all that jazz, and have a great day, and I will see you all on the next review.